all right everyone so this is my covid19 dashboard and i spent literally two weeks or even more than two weeks in order to find the right information in the internet such as the api right data source making sure that i have the data coming from a reliable source so all this work which has been done so far just to make sure that the data is correct took me a while a long time than actually building the dashboard itself so i'm pretty much happy that i am I'm done with the first part, which is the important one. So now I'm going to share with you more details, how we can use this dashboard, uh, what we can, what we have here as data, how we can understand with uh, these uh, charts and uh, graphs and so on. And uh, also I will be giving you some more details about how you can build this dashboard on your own. Basically it's going to be some guidelines. It's not going to be very detailed one, but just a few guidelines. And then if you would like to also access this dashboard, I will be uh, putting some information in the description. Okay, so let's see what we have here on the right side of the dashboard. Here I have the 10 most affected countries with the mortality rate. And I selected here only few countries, okay. Uh, I did not include all the countries, only countries where we can, where we have basically more than 50,000 confirmed cases. So I listed here all these countries uh, from the highest mortality rate to the lowest mortality rate. So you can see here from Belgium, UK, France, Italy and Spain, they have more than 10% and the remaining countries, they are around five to 6%. And you can as well see the trend overall over, uh, over time uh, for each individual countries in the third column. Okay, and you can compare this trend to the global mortality rate that you can see here in the big yellow chart. We can see, we can quickly see it's going, it is having, it's going, it has the same trajectory, okay? And the rest of the information that we have in this dashboard, probably you're familiar with, is the, uh, for example, on the right, uh, on the right side here, you have the total number of active cases, total number of recovered cases, confirmed cases, and dead cases. Uh, these are global numbers okay for for the entire world and <clears throat> we can also see here what is the difference that we have from the day before so you can see for active cases we have an increase of 0.6 percent which represent around 14,000 people and we can also see an increase of 2.3 percent uh, for recovered cases uh, which represent 29 thousand people and it's color coded green is basically a good information and red everything which is in red is a bad things happening okay so in this center in the top center what you have is basically the year of evolution of cases or confirmed cases recovered cases active cases and dead cases and over a certain period of time so this is for the global situation report. So let's see what we have in the tab COVID-19 country specific. Okay, so in this tab COVID-19 country specific, you can see the result, for example, for India, and you can see the number of uh, confirmed cases, active cases, recovered cases, and dead cases. Okay, that's what we have on our first uh, row, uh, pretty much the same thing that we have in a global situation report. And the second, row we have for each individual status the evolution uh, over a certain period of time in a column chart here okay the third row is uh, much more interesting where you can actually see the difference between active cases and confirmed cases in an area chart so that you can see you can observe here basically there is a kind of green lighter green zone which is basically uh, if it is getting bigger and bigger and bigger that means we are going in a positive direction that means also we have less and less active cases and most probably the confirmed cases are um, are are in the same level so we can have the same graph same graph sorry uh, charts area charts for death and this is uh, recovered cases so I guess everybody is curious now to know how to build this uh, dashboard. I'm going to give you uh, some sort of guideline uh, in order to achieve this result. So the first thing that you have to do is to build a custom table and uh, make sure what you want to have in your custom table. So here I have total confirmed, total recovered, total uh, uh, 
uh, that so these are the numbers that I'm collecting also the country and also dates okay so build your custom table that's the first part the second one choose your API uh, send a REST request to your API with the flow designer action uh, pass your response get your outputs and once you have done all these things once you are successful with that take the code snippet available in the flow designer action once you publish the action so that code you can put it in the data source so when you create a data source you can you have different type of data source and one type of data source is a load by script data source so you can select that one put the script that you have in your code snippet and you have to add more script basically you have the output at this level but you need to insert a map into your uh, staging table you have to create a map right so you need to write a code for that specifically and you you're going to run your data source at this point which is actually going to call the flow designer action get the output create the map insert the result into your staging table and then create your transform map which is actually going to take the data which you have in your staging table put into your target table so in our case the target table is a custom table that we have built and make sure here uh, that if you repeat the process so if you schedule the data import so if you do that uh, one three three times per day I'm doing it like every three hours then you have coalesce option for certain fields set to true because otherwise it will create the same uh, uh, I mean the record you have multiple records from the same day okay so and once you have all the data into your table so the next thing is to just build create widgets with the indicators indicator source formula indicators breakdowns in some cases here i wrote for some indicators some script okay it's a very two line script it's not complicated so <clears throat> so this is i explain you like uh, let's say not in details these are the guidelines try to find a way how you can basically uh, bring the data into your table by having this uh, let's say this guideline this is not the only way there are multiple ways to do this so I chose this way because I think this kind of kind um, low level code okay so I'm not writing too much of code I'm trying trying to use different features that is available in the flat platform and trying to uh, put the data uh, and automate that part as well okay so that's a kind of like you have a less you spend less time by uh, on writing codes okay so yeah so this is also another thing that I want to mention this is actually opening for me a new door so I'm pretty much excited to uh, go for uh, building another dashboard by an for analyzing different data like data for what is the traffic congestion that we have in India? How, what, what we can uh, analyze there and take inside and what kind of decision that we can make. So I would like to analyze this kind of data and I think it is possible that we can do that in performance using performance analytics. And I will try to do a course, a detailed course, uh, how we can build this uh, entire dashboard uh, step by step. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.